Hello and welcome to another album view. I am Tribune My Muffin and this is my 12th episode of album views. I'll be reviewing the 21st century brilliant album, of course, by Tame Impala, Lumism. Yeah, of course, he's known for doing his uh, first album, Inner Speaker, and his latest, Currents. And uh, they're also good, but my favourite is Lumism. It's just a brilliant album for a psychedelic uh, rock prog elements of the uh, 21st century. So... Okay. Of course, Kevin Parker wrote, produced, and did all the instruments for the album, and it's a great performance, great vocals. It's kind of samey in a way, but it really does a great performance. So, first song, Be Above It. Electronic psychedelic song. Parker sounds like Lennon, constantly vocal loop, good opening track. Two, End as Toi. Great intro and effect soaked song. Great song. Three, Apocalypse Dreams. Sounds like a late 60s pop song. Parker has a great voice that soars doing the Crescent's McCartney SK bass like fantastic song. There was a lot of good bass parts of the album and great keyboards, great drumming. I mean, he is a surprisingly good musician for this album. Number four, My Mischief. A very guitar based soft song. His vocals are superb, they make it amazing. Five, music to walk home by. Another great psychedelic song. All keyboards and effects sound ethereal and fill the space. Six. Why won't they talk to me? An electro pop song with a melancholic vibe. Fast paced production is superb. Drumming from Parker's robotic, giving it a drum machine feel. Seven. Feels like going. Feels like we only go backwards. All instruments. Delivering this great song about relationship issues. 8. Keep on lying. Could have been a Beatles song. The performance is brilliant, simple, yet everything you need in a psychedelic pop song. With lyrics about a bad girlfriend, a good guitar solo towards the end of the song. Chela Chaga backs in the instrumental section. 9. Elephant. A successful song of the videos of MTV. And of course, a heavier uh, riff followed by Parker. And a slick drumming, first guitars, and prominent bass flying. Two keyboard toes to the bridge, the verses, and this incredible mind melt that has to be played loud. She just won't believe me. A short song with grand dramatic keyboards and some nice guitar licks. Good for ringtone. Sorry, uh, nothing that has happened so far has been anything we could control. It is an incredibly long line. The song is as long as the title. Great drum fills and another breakup song. A good jam song. Parker has used modern technology to create a retro psychedelic almost sci fi sound, which is great to listen to played loudly. Of course, he was influenced by prog bands and, of course, the French electronic pop. Prog Elements Band Air. 12. Sun's coming up. It's a different sound completely. Just a piano and Parker's echoed voice. The lyrics are about ascending from the problems in his life. The ends with the weird soundscape mixed with strange sounds. And the album just carried on going through a successful charts. It went really well. It, it went to number four in the Australian charts and number seven in the UK charts. His new album's done more successful, but, uh, oh well, good for him. This album is a really good album for the 21st century. It's just amazing, and everyone should check it out. Because, you know, they listen to the shit today, and they really should check it out. Okay. I'm going to give this album review, and of course album, album review 12, Tame Impala, Lumism, a 9 out of 10. It's, well first of all, it's a terrible album cover, but that doesn't deserve to be a drop down. It was just, I think his voice was a bit seamy, his, some parts when you turn to 25, and it's like, you know, it's like that scene in, uh, oh man, what's it called?
Uh, I don't remember the film. You know, he's like this, and it blows his heads off. Scanners, that's what it's called, scanners. That's 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 what it feels like when it goes up to 25 in the earphones. Okay, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, and that's all I'm giving it. It's a brilliant album, and he's just a really good musician, produ production and engineer. It's just really good. I'm, I'm really glad I listened to it, and it influenced a lot of people. Well, I'm seeing a lot of shit recently, but that's it really. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, or support us. Appreciate it. I'm Trivia Muffin, your host, as always, on this channel. Please check out my brother's channel, Ministry of Music. And um, stay safe. Have a nice day. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you guys for watching.